Guys, the president of the United States, Donald Trump, and his wife, Melania Trump, have been diagnosed with COVID-19. That is right. If you haven't heard the news, I am telling you this right now. I'm sorry to come to you like this. It's one in the morning or so. I found out uh, a few minutes ago. In fact, Donald Trump tweeted out that he and his wife, uh, Melania, had been diagnosed with COVID-19. Now, we knew that uh, he uh, had come in contact with Hope Hicks, uh, one of the Trump uh, administration officials. Uh, she's been diagnosed with uh, COVID-19. So Donald Trump, uh, President Trump, did send out a tweet uh, earlier in the evening saying that he was going to be beginning quarantine procedures along with his wife and that they were awaiting test results. Well, the test results have now come back. Again, they have tested positive for COVID-19. Guys, let me just say this, okay? If there are any of you out there that still question whether COVID-19 is a real disease or not, whether it's a real virus or not, whether it's a real thing or not, please let this tell you that it is. I hate the fact that we're months and months into this. We've lost over 200,000 lives in the, uh, in the United States, uh, I, I believe over a million internationally. We have cases every single day, thousands of cases every single day, and people are still questioning whether this is a thing. Uh, if you've questioned it, please let this tell you not to question it any longer. COVID-19 is a very real thing that can infect anyone at any time, including the President of the United States and his wife. Guys, this is word and so important to wear our face masks, to social distance, to not be in groups, etc. And I should say, I saw on CBS News that uh, President Trump apparently is 74 years old. That sort of puts him in the higher risk group uh, in terms of uh, higher risk for COVID complications because of his age. CBS News also said that uh, he has at least one uh, medical co uh, condition that puts him in the uh, sort of the higher risk group as well. Um, CBS also in this article that I read said that he had met with supporters early in the day. That's on Thursday. Thursday. I'm not sure the details of him meeting with supporters, what that was like, how many supporters, where, how, if masks were worn, uh, and that nature. I know these details are going to come out uh, very soon, but we know that there's going to be a lot of contact tracing that's going to have to take part, which is this idea of now tracing back everyone he and his wife were in contact with recently. Uh, we don't know how many people that might have been. Potentially, it could have been a lot of people, people in his cabinet, people that he, uh, you know, in the Trump administration that he has been around, uh, traveling with, etc., you know, guys, this couldn't be more important. Uh, I don't want anyone getting COVID-19. I don't want anyone getting it. But the fact that our president and the first lady has got, and I'm hoping will convince those of you who still don't believe this, this is actually a real condition. I hope this will convince you that it actually is. And this also reminds us all that COVID-19 does not discriminate. It will infect anyone and anyone you know, that it chooses um, at any time that it chooses as well. We must respect this virus and what it can do, what it has done, and what it has the potential to do. That means to not be afraid, but it means to be smart. It means to wear a mask, to social distance, to stay out of groups, to stay out of rallies, to be honest with you, and so many other things. It means to wash our hands and to use hand sanitizer and to take this seriously and to also not perpetuate myths and conspiracy theories that have been floating around for months and months and months. The very myths and conspiracy theories uh, that I work every day to dispel and so many other people do as well. It's one of the reasons why I make videos is because there's so much false information out there. We cannot afford any other and any more false information because you know what? When we, when we buy into this, when we give credence to it, people die. People die. So let's take this seriously. For those of you who have not, this is our wake-up call. This is your wake-up call to do so. There are so many of you that are taking this seriously, and I'm so proud of that. And we need to hold strong. We need to stick to our guns. We need to keep doing what we know is right. Guys, please keep yourself safe. Please keep your family and your friends and your neighbors safe. Uh, please share this video with other people. Um, for those of you who are interested in daily videos, please like and follow my page. And for those of you who send stars, I answer your questions first. Again, guys, I'm sorry to come to you like this, but the fact that our president and the first lady have COVID-19 is, is certainly newsworthy and something we have to talk about and we have to, uh, we have to take heed of. Guys, please stay safe. I'm Dr. Jen. I will see you soon.